I think it's so, you know, when I first got elected, one of the first things that uh, Judge Giganti had said to me is that, you know, he asked me very, uh, uh, a series of questions, and then he said, he asked him, and you're going to continue guardianship appreciation. <laughs> And of course we are. I'm Steve Florano with LifeWire Media. I'm here with Rini Beckett. How are you today, Rini? I am very good. Thank you for having me. So tell me about this conference that we're, we're at. Um, we're actually here today for the ninth annual Guardianship Recognition Day, and it's an initiative that Sergey Giganti had started about nine years ago. And the purpose is to recognize the guardians and the wards that we service here in Surrogate's Court. We have about 1,500 open guardianship cases, and every day we're dealing with families who are going through struggles, wondering who's going to take care of my loved one at some point or another. And so what we try to do is we try to work with the families, we try to work with financial institutions and a lot of other agencies in order to um, make it as easy as possible, but also safeguarding monies for, for wards and whatnot. Really, we try to do what's best for the families and the wards. Are there any roadblocks in this process? You know, I, that's a very good question. The roadblocks, um, there's a lot of steps because in our court, essentially, we're being asked to take somebody's rights away for life. And so we have to make sure that that family knows the implications, knows the alternatives, and knows the services that they can actually utilize. What are some of the processes in this, in this court? Excellent question. Uh, what we actually do is we have fingerprints that we make sure that we run on all family members. We have something called the 3909 form, which goes back to a family's 28-year history, and we send those uh, to upstate New York to make sure that the people we're going to be making as guardians um, are actually okay to take care of the people that they're saying that they're going to be taking care of. Unfortunately, we've had cases where we, we've gotten horrendous feedback back, and we had to enlist the help of other agencies to make sure that the best interest of the wards. Um, some people think that, you know, wards sometimes cannot speak for themselves because of a disability that they have. We as the court are here to speak for those people that may not be able to speak for themselves. And so we try to have uh, them come in to Guardianship Recognition Day so they can mm -hmm. meet some of the families. And this is only a small cross section of the hundreds and thousands of families we help on Staten Island on an annual basis. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. Your Honor, how are you today? I'm really good, Steve. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me some of the history of this event. Sure. Well, this is the ninth year that this event is being held, the Guardianship Appreciation Day. Uh, it's the first year that I'm actually hosting it. It's my first year as the surrogate in Richmond County. But I'm so uh, pleased and, and honored to be carrying on the tradition that was started by former surrogate Bob Giganti. It's a very important day. It's a day when our guardianships get our guardians get together uh, along with their wards. But we also have brought in some of the banks and uh, social service institutions that they work with. And we think that it's important. You know, my mantra has been since day one when I first got to this court that our guardians and our wards are not just f file numbers in a court, but they're real families and real people. And I think this is a real uh, great way to uh, instill that, not only uh, uh, to staff here, mm -hmm. but to the institutions that we work with as well. What does the surrogate do? <laughs> well, the surrogate uh, uh, has a very limited jurisdiction. We predominantly preside over all the trust wills and estates on Staten Island, mm -hmm. as well as all the guardianships on Staten Island, and we handle adoptions as well. But that's it. We don't do criminal work. We don't do car accidents, nothing of that nature. So it's a very focused? Very focused, very limited. Wow. Hmm. Wow is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for joining me, Judge. Well, thanks so much for having me, Stephen. Thanks for being here today to celebrate with us and to show everyone on Staten Island thank what you for Guardianship Appreciation Day is really Thank you for really inviting about. us. My pleasure. We'll see you again next year. Everyone. Sure. Awesome. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Aaron from Lifeline News Service, and I'm here with Carol. Hello. How are you? I'm doing very good today. So, what can you tell me about guardianship? 
Well, the guardianship process is actually allowing me to continue to care for my son and make important decisions for him and with him. Um, it, it gives me um, sort of, you know, access to some of the important aspects of his life. What services do you get from guardianship? But guardianship provides um, the legal, the financial, um, uh, all of the uh, assistance that we need to be able to be um, Gregory's guardian and, and stay very involved in his life. That's very good to hear. What do you hope for the future? <laughs> My hope for the future would be that my son wouldn't require a guardianship. But that being said, this guardianship process, I think, is the, is the best situation for, uh, for somebody who needs it. The Staten Island Guardianship Office here has really been wonderful in, in being very uh, attentive to what the needs of guardians and, you know, and their peers are. I totally agree. And thank you, Carl, for being here. Oh, you're welcome. And this is Aaron from Lifeway News Service signing off.